Alright guys, today I got a couple of auction hauls I'm going to throw in one video. It might be a little long, but um, you know, you can come back, pick up where you left off later. No big deal. Let's get to it. Alright, so first thing we got here is this Rolly kit. Right there, Rolly kit. It's an organizer they used to sell back in the day. Got some nice here uh, nylon straps on the outside. It says right there, Puss. So we're going to twist and hold that down. This is the first time I've ever actually seen in this thing, so you're seeing it with me. And some kind of pipe sealer. And some uh, Teflon tape here. Those clamps. There's some more Teflon tape. Mill spec it says. Faucet washers. And some more wing nuts. Ah, some nails, some screws. And some more anchors. Eh, I want to lift that lid. More wall anchors. Some little bitty, little bitty nails. Regular old home improvement, home maintenance type stuff. So, nothing too excellent in that, but you know, it's kind of cool. I did also pick up this here Wen drill press. It's an old school press. You put your electric quarter drill in there and then ram her home. So yeah, real old school, probably 50s, 60s, 95, A60. Yeah, this was interesting. Here's one of the boxes of things that I don't really need. You know, plastic containers. Look like laundry vent traps. Double sided tape. Plastic and emblem adhesive. This 3M. Oh, and it's not all. It's not all junk in there. Urban straight line. Hey, good old chalk powder. Liquid solder filler. Kitchen silicone. Yeah, it's, it's still good. Piece of colored cock. No cat, but it's never been punctured. That might be junk. A couple of junk jigsaw blades. And of course, uh, safety glasses. Now, uh, I can refill these propane cylinders. Whenever they're in good shape, I keep them. This one's actually full. This one's full. That one's almost... It's probably three quarters full. I think this one's actually empty. Yeah, it's empty. It says solid wire, but it does not say if it's a lead. It'd be awesome if it was lead. A little copper tubing. Two more copper fittings. For a water heater. Some old pipe there. I do not know what that is, but I would not suggest drinking it. We'll go ahead and pitch it. Copper fittings in here. Here's some other nipples that are brand new. Section of pipe. We got a few different nozzles there for our propane torches. This little kit right here, old burns o matic kit. It is a propane striker, a couple different soldering bits there. There's a torch. Looks like a Better here for a sweater. A wide flame anyway. It's a nice little kit and actually having it all together like that, very, very useful. Very helpful. You just grab this whole kit, take it wherever you need to go. Alright, I also picked up this guy because um, mine shot craps. It was not soldering worth crap. Um, this guy looks unused. Uh, for the most part comes with extra tips it's got everything in it this is a Miller's it's not a Weller but uh, I think it'll work has all the original paperwork even comes with parts numbers for replacement stuff I love using the old pistol grip gun whenever I can I also picked up this little guy here she is a silver beauty and uh, I've already used it it's a 6, 8, and 12 volt 4 amp charger uh, yeah, 6, 8 volt, 12 volt, depending on your dongle switch there. But, works good. I mean, the wires, the connection there is a little sketch, but, eh, it is what it is. Just plug it in and pray for the best. Wear some gloves if you got to. But yeah, I've, I've got a couple of special 
purpose is just for this little guy which is why I wanted it. It's a dumb charger. It'll just keep putting voltage out as long as she's plugged into the wall and that's what I want. I don't want a smart charger. That'll screw my little experiment up. So that's why I got the old Silver Beauty. I'm a sucker all the time for chisels and files. Uh, this come with old paint scraper here. Chisels, drifts, all kinds of different punches in here. Big guys, little guys, some other files. These are a lot of the smaller files, which I have a bunch of these big bastards, or mill bastards, half rounds, that kind of stuff. These smaller triangle files, that's what I'm essentially looking for whenever I'm looking at files now. And a lot of these are USA, Super Slim, Nicholson, you got me a handle right there. This came with the other box. It's some kind of flange. And a couple of basin wrenches in here. Some rollers. Kind of tape dispenser. Smart Masker Pro. So it's a masking tape applicator. Got some old flat scrapers here. Even have the, even have the old uh, razor blades. Dust mask. Oh, nice. Chalk line. That's going to see the trash. Because, uh... I don't know what he had or what he was messing with, so we'll just go ahead and trash that. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sweating like the fattest hog on an island right before Luau. Just drenched. 102 degrees today. Woohoo! Let's see here. Old junk gloves. C clamp. Got some scrapers here. Some big old Eklund hex key. Bunch of scrapers. Some wire brushes here, some old linesman pliers. Those are Utica from uh, New York. Powercraft. I don't know, those have that goofy looking edge on them. They're not the square ones, like the old school. They're that new age. I don't know if they call that New England or what. There's two different kinds. Those are the two different kinds. Oh, some more punches. Looks like a big ass nail. It was. It was a nail. They just used it as a punch. Craftsman 3 8 raised panel. Good old VA. Handheld hacksaw here. Nice. Comes right out of there. You get her locked in there. Nice and tight. It's got the unlock right there. Fold her in different positions. Also fold up like a wee pocket knife. Lennox, a little wolf there. So I don't know, maybe Top Wolf made these. Nice spring, scratch out. A couple of different wrenches in here that are uh, purpose built. You know? I don't know if those are for a table saw or what, but I do not think I have the table saw. Those are Valley Forge. A little 3 8 jobber there. Magnetic. A couple of fuller wrenches here in 8 and 11. There's a good old Crescent 12 inch R212 pliers. Little Stanley. A couple of foam. Paint brushes. I don't need that toothbrush. A couple other pair of scissors here. St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Nice. Got quite a few little hand tools there. Oh, you got a new Sharpie. Let's see if that works. Oh, the Sharpie works. That's not a bad little box there. Your slide hammer attachment. Or exhaust expander. I don't know. It's, it says number 10. But this piece right here unscrews. I don't know exactly what this is, but um, I've needed to spread some exhaust in my time. And if this will do it, that, that'll work for me. Five pound slide pull here. Another little dent puller. So, another slide hammer. Oil stone. Comes with the three different sides here. An old framing hammer there. That's the old fiberglass handle. People used to love those things back in the day. Can't remember who makes it though. It's a hide. So right here's the Drasco. And another lead paint scraper there. Got a sure shot. I bought this box originally for these right here. These are Utica. And they are 
the fencing pliers from back in the day. Old early 1900s, turn of the century stuff. I actually had a guy want to try to buy these from me. And uh, he offered me $10. Told him, nah. I really like that old kind of stuff there. Makes my day. Pick up something like that. This has all kinds of chisels in it. Some of them brand new, never even used. This also has a nice set of the Craftsman wood lathe. Junk sander. Powerhouse. And these are all uh, Craftsman. I don't know what this is. You know what that is. Leave me a comment. Oh, a little dog steak. And here we got a little box of uh, wrenches. Made in USA. McCaig Hatch. Actually have some other, some of those. Here's Super Wrench. Here's William Super Wrench. Challenger. Plum. Here's an old Tappet. Her brand Tappet. Made in USA. Huh. I know a guy would probably like that. Here's an old Bonnie. AIGO. Got a brace in here. Got a lot of bits. Brand new drill bit there. HS USA. Got a drill bit guide. Another big old drill bit. This is HS also. Style 310 ATM. Uh, I don't know if that's the automatic teller machine or the other one. That's an old Proto. It says Proto Plum Tools. That must have been whenever Proto bought out Plum Tools. I didn't buy this old big skill bag. It's got an old pipe wrench in there. Got an old drill there, Black & Decker 3 8 I plugged that sander in a second ago. That little thing actually works. There's a 12 inch 80 tooth master force blade. A little demo screwdriver. A couple more. There's a Stanley. There's a Craftsman. Old wood chisels. Now the old copper ruler there, Lufkin. Copper bronze. Oh nice, it even has the depth gauge in it. Still, that's, that's nice. This here Prozzi bean cutter. Now uh, this guy put on there that it's actually for worm drive saw. It is for worm drive skill saw. But, yeah, I've been wanting one of these for quite a little while. That way you can just cut through your 8x8 or your 12x12 bean. One pass. Done. So yeah, that's nifty, nifty tool right there. Alright, now for one of the better buys I got at that auction. And I know you're saying better buys. Well, I got this here still. It is a FS55R. Paid 35 bucks for it. And when they were trying to start it, they flooded the crap out of it. And they do not know how to unflood these without taking the spark plug out and blowing it out. All you have to do, hold in on this, hold in on this, turn your throttle off so it's wide open, and just pull on that baby. Wide open, she'll blow all that crap out of there, and soon enough, you know, 10, 12, 15 pulls, she'll fire right up, and you just off and running. It's still in good shape, matter of fact, I used it as soon as I got home. It took me about 45 seconds to get it running. That's the difference. A lot of people don't know how to work two cycle stuff. They screw it up, hop on it, buy it. It's just the way it's gotta go. And that was not the only trimmer I bought there. I bought this here, Echo GT2000. I give a dollar for this one. I think the problem's in the carburetor. But I haven't messed with it yet because that steel works, so I've just been using it around the house. I'm gonna go ahead and fix this guy, throw her on Craigslist, be done with it. Almost the best thing I bought at that auction. Swivel base. It is a Wilton four and a half inch bullet vise, or maybe it's four inches. This thing, other than being surface rusted to hell, is perfect. The teeth on it, excellent. I got a little strip of cardboard here. Grab the new Vampire Brutes there and uh, pick her up. Rip the cardboard, pick the vise up. Good little pliers. Great set of teeth on this here. Old vise. I also got this here receiver hitch. I don't know exactly what it fits. I mean, with a welder and a grinder and uh, oxidant torch, you can make it fit anything. 
And the thing's barely even been used all day long. $100 bill on Craigslist. So this is what's known as a tough box. It's huge. It's a wedge shaped toolbox. Fits behind the seat in your regular cab pickup truck. This one did have some stuff in it. And of course the whole thing's not going to be in frame because well, this thing's huge. That's essentially what it looks like. Three shelves. It sits up. Box of sockets here. You know, don't know. Craftsman, craftsman, craftsman. Uh, there's a snap on. 10 millimeter. Six point. Hey, that's a good one. The craftsman. That's craftsman. There's another snap on. Three eighths. A battery terminal puller, windshield wiper, New Britain, USA. We'll clean it up. There's something right there. So yeah. We'll clean that up, figure out how she works. Oh, there's another chisel. Junky needle nose. Put some light bulbs there. 3 8 speeder here. Craftsman V. Looks like a uh, specialty. Ooh, that's a Stanley 916. That's probably a distributor wrench. 3157. Chevy bowl. I got a light bulb. Church key. Big old tap. There's a three quarter by ten. Made in USA. Uh, Vermont American VA. Looks like a little chainsaw file. Another church key. It looks like a Chinese ratchet of some kind. Chinese Taiwanese. Still sounds good and works. It says Clues Tool USA. You know, popping the door panels out with Christmas trees and shit like that. Here's another big old tap. This here is one of those plastic wedges pry stuff on so you don't bust the pins open on door panels and shit like that. Plastic pry bar. Pakistani bent needle nose. Those things are uh, pure junk. They don't even line up. You can, you can see a sunset through there. Look at that. That's horrible. Ah, oh, good old proper church key. It actually says Foley on it. F-O-L-E-Y. Uh, I don't know what that is. That might be some kind of quilting implement. It looks kind of like the Mac kind. Torx bits. It says Craftsman. The B style. Oh, look at there. A Matco. 14 millimeter. A uh, quarter inch even. But it's got that Matco chrome on it. So yeah, that was this tough box here. And uh, yes, this will be utilized in the 70 Chevy. That's uh, one of the reasons I bought it. Let's see. So that auction where I got the receiver hitch from ended up costing me 36 bucks. Uh, it says tire tools. Uh, there was one tire tool in there. I sold it to the guy for two bucks and kept the rest of the box. Saw attacher, that was that. Uh, Prezi saw, whetstone, flat of tools. It says chair, two dollars there, huh? Bastard got me. Side hammer, organizer, drill hammer, ruler, battery charger, seven bucks. So that was that one. Last one I went to, it cost me a wee bit more, two hundred and fifty-seven dollars. And um, I'll leave a little video running in the corner of my greatest, my greatest buy at that auction. Maybe even my greatest buy ever. And remember, I bought this snap-on tool kit over here for $35. It's even better than that. Dollar putty knives, dollar for a trimmer, $4 scraper, soldering gun a dollar, plumbing propane, $4, weed whacker, $35. That vise, that Wilton vise, I paid 70 bucks for that four inch Wilton vise. Ridiculous. Scrapers and pliers, a dollar. Right there, Cub Cadet. 140 bucks. I bought a zero turn Cub Cadet that did not have the mower deck on it, but came with the mower deck. Had 610 hours on it for $140. Best buy I've gotten to date at an auction, as far as I'm considered. Now, uh, my yard, too small to use a zero turn. That Cub Cadet, 140 bucks, came with the mower deck. Um, the guy said he had a problem keeping belts on. I'm thinking bad pulley, bad bearing, something like that. Um, I haven't yet dicked around with it because my dad bought one at the same auction that had 50 hours on it 
for 1500 bucks, which is half of what they normally run. So he's got a kick-ass mower. Um, my mower's down there because I don't have room for it here. Plus, it would take me five minutes to mow my yard if that's what I used. Mine actually has a hitch on the back of it. So hook up the yard trailer to it, run it out to the garden, pull weeds, throw all that shit in there, brush piles, all that kind of stuff. So run the dump trailer on the back of my mower and um, you know I got it for later on down the road because uh, we're not living here forever as always like comment share subscribe love hate hard knocks forge gmail.com don't send me any panties because they never fit